Love Them Knives channel. We're at SHOT Show 2019 in the Kaiser booth. We have David Sun here. He's going to show some of the new knives that you have for 2019. Yes, I will be talking about some of the prototypes that we have that will be coming out in 2019 between uh, January and June. And then I'll be talking about some prototypes that we'll be seeing the market uh, sometime in the future. So you have a mixture of both. Great. So which one would you like to talk about oh, first? We'll We've got some knives here on the table. To right. Okay. Uh, first one is called the Shamsher. You can you see it's based on a saber design. Very curvy. So how do you pronounce that? Shamsher. Shamsher. I'm sure there are multiple ways. It's, <laughs> it's an okay. important word. Shamsher. You have titanium handle, S35VN, and there's a very curvy slicer. As you, we'll be going with a nail clip starting mm -hmm. at this point. It's going to be a thumb opening. This is not a flipper. It's a thumb oh, stud. It's not. Yes, it's a thumb stud. So is there a specific designer on this one? Yes, this is Azo's design. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, designer of the backlighter. Yes. And this is a Genesis. There's a new designer, Gage. And you can see that not a slicer, this is a piercing through. And it is a flipper. Also, frame lock. It's a pretty good size yeah. knife too, isn't it? It will definitely fill your hand. Uh, yeah, this, this it's a full size. It would yeah, meet into full size. Even though the, uh, even though there are a lot of uh, smaller knives we're printing out, as later we'll see, with the fire hand, the shard, and one of the flip shanks. But uh, we're also still doing the mid size to large size, and the large size will be a surprise at the end of the video. Okay, so yeah, uh, even in my hand, yeah, it's full size, big full size knife. Interesting. Stone wash, the Genesis. And you said who was the designer on this? He's called Gage. Gage, okay. He's a new designer for us. Wow, very cool. Fairly light though for what it is, right? Titanium is really nice in reducing that way, so you're not carrying some extra weight all day long. That makes you feel good in the hand. And this one's called the Serpa. Okay. The Serpa is just your, I mean, I hate to use the word standard, but it's your workhorse because this is sturdy and rugged. You can stir whatever you want at it and it'll take it and keep on going. Okay. And Again, that's not a flipper It is either. a thumb stud, yes. And There's right and left hand tip up? Uh, it is a tip up because we have the extra hole on the handle so you can actually change it to, uh, the clip to be an ambidextrous carry. Yes, and let me let me feel that one real quick. Oh yeah, nice. I like the design. I don't know, it's just... It just looks very functional, but it's a very it clean look. It, it is. It's a rugged knife that you can take anywhere oh, with yeah, you. Oh yeah, lots of uh, really hardcore jimping up here. Not too edgy, but very effective. Yeah, great looking knife. The next one, we have the Vindicator out of Victorville by Marshall Noble. Okay. As you can see, it has a spatel point. It's got a flipper. It's got a nicely grooved handle for that grip. And it's got a skull crusher. Mm -hmm. So this knife, whether you have it open or closed, you can still do some damage with it wherever it's needed. And of course, the usual case ball bearing opening with a flipper gets that thing locked up with a milled clip. Kind of like a, looks like a, you got a little bit of a thumb ramp there. It's a, the a bit of a ramp, uh, but also jimping just to make sure your, your finger gets there and it stays there. So you can apply force as much as you can. Okay, yeah. And a nice big choil up front to oh, it go is. forward if you need to. With, with a knife, if you're in combat situation, you should, but if you're at rest, this will get you to do uh, some close-up task as yeah. needed. Definitely a full-size handle knife. Yeah, it is. Big knife. Okay. On the other side, <laughs> yeah. we have the flip shank from Attack Rescue Survival designer Alex Gennaro. Okay. So you have G10 on one side, get your grip. You have Titanium on the other side for the locking and a one-piece clip. 
this is flip shank is meant to be a hideout knife. It comes out real clean, but when you hold it, it'll be really hard to disarm you from it because it stays so tight in your fist. You can also use the skinning point because you can do a real close choke up. So it will hide it really well, but when it comes out, the power is there. And this is called the what? The flip shank. Flip shank. Ooh. Yeah, and it's it's a little chunk of uh, Yes, it's it's a little chunk of power, little chunk of nasty. Shank. Yeah. I like that pocket clip. That's uh, very clever. Oh yeah, that's pretty smooth. Yep. And finger flick, thumb flick, or yep. flip or tab. And because it's so small, it will hide almost anywhere. Really cool. Very interesting. Is this the color that it's coming out in? Uh, this is the probably the default standard color. However, we do have the option of changing it to different colors as needed for the for the for the market. Okay. The next up is from Ivan Bragnitz. Yeah. This is called the Odin. As you can see, it has a titanium handle with carbon fiber insert on both sides. Great. A one-piece milk clip and a long, slender blade. You know, I've been back and forth with Ivan on Instagram, and you know, I I got a sneak peek at that, but I think I've caught that online somewhere. As far as seeing the Odin, I like the design. I really do. Don't you? And the thumb hole is symbolized the one eye of Odin, ah. because he gave up he gave up one eye for wisdom. And still have one remaining. And I'll of tell course, you what, Dave? I think that's really, that's really a nice. Design. Oh, very grippy. Very grippy. Very grippy. Even though it's carbon real fiber. Carbon yes. Fiber even though it's fiber, 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 you don't get that slipperiness. But this will stay in your hand. It won't let go. Backspacer with kind of a stealth pass through for yes. your uh, for your lanyard if you want. A nice accent here for the pocket clip. But you know what? That's just a slender good looking knife uh, and you know what that's a that's a full size knife it, it is a full size knife is that 3.8 something like that uh, 3.7 ish I believe that that is actually my oh, daily yeah. carry right now for the last two months <laughs> oh oh yes that flicks very nice flipper flicker you know what I really like that one I really do big time that's really cool. Okay. All right, what do we got next lineup of knives right. here? Again, we'll start from left to right. Okay. On the left, you have a collection of mini sheepdogs. You have the Dama Steel and Titanium Handle. You have the S35VN and Titanium Handle. This will be coming out in 2019. Okay, they, so the, this hasn't come out yet? Yeah, this is uh, slated to come out in 2019. For okay. the for the market, and this is this as is, well. This one has already come. This has already come out, yeah, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. So, so then, back. the other three are prototypes of potential handles for the mini sheepdog that we're we're experimenting with. You have your marble carbon fiber. Okay. So under different light, you get different you you get different results. You have different visual results. And this one is you can't, probably can't see it on the video, but there's a very fine texture on the carbon fiber. Yeah. So you have a you, you got a you got a visual impact of carbon fiber, but you have a very secure grip on that yeah, handle. Yeah, that's interesting. On this one is a burlap macarta. Give oh, that yeah. a little bit ruggedness looking, but it feels absolutely solid in the hand. Wow, that's really cool. So. These are not going. These are going to be like the S thirty five, not the D two. Are they going to be D two? These are. Well, we, we did these three to test out the reaction to the handle design. What will be the blade material? That's still. Oh, has been determined. Yet. It's pending. I want to touch this one here. This is. Oh, it's light too. Yes, Macarta. So it is definitely don't have that extra weight, but still, it is it feels very solid in the hand. Yeah. yeah. Of course, this is built more like your higher end because of the titanium pocket clip, right? As yes. opposed to the G10. Right, um, right. Sheepdog, mini sheepdog. But these are really, that's nice. 
Okay, stone washy. And yeah. then this carbon fiber. Really kind of get the look of the texturing on right. the carbon you fiber. Right. You have these little fine texture on it that 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 makes Absolutely. sure that it doesn't go anywhere. And then of course, the nice smooth marbled carbon fiber, very very nice. All right. Yeah. So the next three are from one of our best uh, designer, uh, Dirk Pinkerton. Oh, Pinkerton, okay. The two are called Fire Ant, and this one's called the Shard. The Fire Ant, it has a bright finished titanium handle, yes. and it has a colored back on those handles, the colored uh -huh. edges. Even if you notice, the thumb stud are colored to match the handle. This one's uh, gold, and this one's blue. Okay. With a very, very utilitarian straight edge, one cliff blade. Uh, it's under three inches, so you can carry this anywhere with you. Show up in style, and leave with nothing but functionality. Very nice. The shard is one of those small knives that pack a ton of power. This one can almost be used as a neck knife because it is that small. But you can still open it comfortably and it still fills your hand so that you never have to worry about not having enough fingers on the grip. So that way you control it fully and get that power across. Use that for any utilitarian task. It will do just fine. Very nice. So the next one is uh, we, d we built this in last year at June on the Blade Show is Real Iconicus Yorkie. Okay. And this one has received pretty rave reviews already. We'll have a, this one has a hole in the handle. We will also have a blue handled one without the hole. So it'll be a little bit different for, okay. for everyone who likes something different. So that's Laconico. That's Laconico. Which it looks so much like Laconico. It is Laconico's style. design. Very, is that very a frame classic. lock? Yes, it is a frame lock. Okay, okay. Yeah. And it's called the what? The Yorkie. Yorkie, Yorkie. Yeah. Okay. Ray's a dog lover, so named Yorkie. A lot of it's background noise here, so yeah. And this but is from, from Nick Swan. Oh, wow. It's called the Microless. Ooh, that's nice. There might be a bigger one called the Megalist coming out. But don't worry, it's a liner lock actually. Oh, instead of frame excellent. Lock. Don't worry about the size. Just because it's small doesn't mean it's not capable of big tasks. And it has a very low profile flipper, as you can see. Oh, it does, yes. But it opens just fine. Wow. Very crisp, very clean open action. Nick Swan, what? what? Oh Matanzas. Yes, yes, the Matanzas. the Matanzas, yes. That's really nice. And so you might come up out with a larger uh, version of this. Right, knife. we're thinking, we're considering if the Michaelis uh, sees a good market reaction, a 3.5 inch Megalus. I do like this design. This it is feels really very nice. good in the hand. It feels real good in the hand. Yeah, and it is a small knife. Uh, but wow. This is one of those go everywhere, do everything yeah, knives. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Wow, very nice. And I believe this one people probably know about already because this is also debuted around June. It's the Soze. Then you combine with Kaiser's name, it's the Kaiser Soze. <laughs> Everybody yes. gets a laugh out of that. There Absolutely. It's a great name. I love it. This will be the single edge version of the of the Soze. So featuring that unique top flipper. You have two handles, one with carbon fiber and one is full titanium. Okay. This Good is size knife though, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, this is a new design from Jared Price. Uh, it's a, unlike a lot of our knives, it's a friction folder. Oh. Wow. This yeah. was designed to fit nicely into Jean's watch pocket. You got the excellent hang, so when you push on it, you lock the knife in securely. Does it have a pocket clip on it? It does. So could you actually wave it somehow when you pull it out of your pocket against the back of your pocket? Would it actually open it? That's a good question. You I know, don't like know. If you had it in your pocket like this, 
when it comes out the back of your pocket, pull it out of the back of your pocket and wave it. Yeah, it'll wave right out. Yeah, it will. I, I that's quick, quick draw. I only got this the day before the shot show, so I haven't tried that. But uh, that well, it locks up pretty solid for a friction lock. So yeah. Yeah, and you could wave it you, right you out of could. your pocket. And you could. that is really cool. Okay. I was just wondering when I saw that tab hanging up, I go, I know somebody's going to ask me that. <laughs> I know somebody's going to ask me that. All right. Okay. All right. We've got another lineup of knives to talk about. So take us through it, Dave. All right. From left to right, my left to my right, this is the titanium bag lighter. Oh, wow. With the backlighter being one of the more popular models that we have, we decided to upscale and upgrade the backlighter with a Tento point and a titanium handle, one piece clip, frame lock, and the cage ball bearing you come to expect from Kaiser. So, What do you mean by one piece clip? It's a one piece milled clip. It's a single one piece titanium milled clip. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. okay. Then, nice. be because we want to make sure that everyone can have a knife, no matter what the legal limit is, of the mo po most popular one is three, we decided to down um, downsize the bag lighter and also downsize its big brother, the Doman. So you have the mini bag lighter and the mini Doman. No nice. matter which one you like, you can take one with you, no matter where you go. Excellent. So those are G10 liner lock. Yes, these are the Vanguard series. So you have a G10 and a steel uh, stainless steel liner lock. The back ladder with a slim blade, and the domain with a wider blade. Yes. Nice VG10 uh, N690 or 154 cm. N690 154 cm. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. This one is new for 2019. It's called the console, designed by Gage. I like that one. All right. The Vanguard series with a highlight blue a pivot collar right there. It opens really well. And when you put it in your hand, you realize the ergonomics of this knife is outstanding. Yeah, that's nice. Um, I really like the design of this one. Okay, yeah, really nice, very light. So we're gonna go over to fixed blade. The first one is called the Harpoon. It's designed by Maverick Customs. And this knife has some outstanding ergonomics. Holding your hand and your, your thumb naturally falls on this, on this point and to add more force. But if you take it off, it is petite enough to do all the fighter attacks for your camping but also big enough to handle any many tasks you have for it. So this would be maybe an all-around? All-around camping knife, all-around outdoor EDC that you want to carry with you all the time. Really nice. What kind of coating is that on the blade? It's powder coating. Powder coat, to, okay. To protect the high carbon blade. Nice. Okay. And this one is designed by Eddie Diaz of Macho Blade. Oh. Is the Mini Butcher. Wow. And, yep. This is designed so <laughs> you're holding a small cleaver in your hand or a small hatchet if you Woo. if you so think, and you can just chop away to your heart's content. It's called the Mini Butcher, but there's me nothing mini about its power. Yeah. Wow. That is impressive. Uh, really, wow, really choils you right in there, doesn't it? It does. Puts you right in on that blade. That is uh, wild. What are you going to use uh, for the blade steel? Uh, for the blade steel, we may use... Oh, S35 on this one, huh? Yes. Okay, macho blade. Wow, that is... Does it have a little sheath that comes with yes, it? Yes, a too? kydex sheath. Wow, that's impressive. That's vicious. All right, for the for the finale, oh, yeah. for the curtain, our 
C01C Sheepdog XL. Yes. You you have the regular one, you love the mini sheepdog, and now we're bringing you the X large sheepdog. Absolutely. You you love this from June that we debuted it. We keep on getting questions about when is it coming out? How <laughs> fast can we get it? It is here. It is here. Scheduled for May to June release. June? May to June release, yes. Okay, May to June. I can't wait. I gotta get me one in green. Everything you love about the sheepdog, just more of it. A whole lot more of it. I mean, this is, how big is this knife actually? Nine, uh, nine and a half inches? Four, four inch blade, four inch, four something blade, uh, about uh, eight, eight to nine inches. Oh, at least all day long. This thing's crazy big. This was uh, really great. I mean, this is... This you could actually use it as your kitchen knife. Yeah, you could, you could. It's amazing, and boom, easy, great action. Just uh, very insane, and of course, of course you gotta have one. That mini would be, I mean the mini sheepdog would be like, what, you right have down three here? sizes. <laughs> and then the regular. If you Just hold one moment, I'll bring what? it over. Yeah, yeah, bring me the mini. Here's a full-size bag lighter. Wow, it's bigger than that. Okay, so where's the mini sheepdog? Okay, this is ridiculous. Yeah, there you go. Mini sheepdog. Sheepdog XL. Insane. Flip it. Aspect ratio probably even looks smaller. Yeah, it's just... This thing is an absolute beast. Love it. I love it. Just got to have one of those for sure. Don't know why. It's just because it is. Absolutely. All right. For the good in life, you should never ask why you should have it. No, no, no. Just have it. Yeah, you just need to have it for some reason. So do we have that feist with the um, carbon fiber? Yes, absolutely. Okay, back. Because, yeah, I forced him to get the feist knives out. Front flippers, really cool. Lundquist uh, design collaboration. All right, uh, we essentially just like the mini sheepdog I showed earlier. These are potential handle materials that we wanted to try out and get a reaction from the Shashao attendees. First, you have the carbon fiber, and this one has a very unique three D pattern. Very clearly, you can see it. Of course, when we do both sides using a carbon fiber. The feist, we go from a frame lock to a liner lock. Absolutely. Then here is a feist with a burlap. It feels like burlap micarta. Yes. Yeah. And it goes from frame lock to liner lock as well. Different handles give you a different feel and, uh, you know, hopefully to appeal to different tastes. They're just really super light. Uh, actually, an easy front flipper to actuate. Wow, so carryable. Very nice. I really it's, like that. It's still a knife that it's a, a real gentleman tactic. You can take it anywhere with you. Yeah. Boardroom yeah. meetings, you know, uh, go go to a formal event. Absolutely. Really nice. Absolutely. Really like it. All right. Are we done? We are. <laughs> We're just done we are for the prototype. Oh my God. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Dave.